Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the n, the axial load, and m, the moment, um, through different equations I'm going to be introducing. And then we're going to be finding n and m through different integrals I'm going to be introducing, and we're going to see we're going to get the same result. So here's our problem. We have a cross-section, a, a rectangular cross-section, which is 200 by 100 mils. And we're given this strain diagram. It's 0 0.002 at the top and minus 0 0.0001 strain at the bottom of the section. Now, the formula we're going to be using is n, the axial load, is equal to a, the area, times the elastic modulus, times e naught, which is known as the reference strain, plus the um, first moment of area, times the elastic modulus, times kappa, uh, where kappa is the curvature. And the moment is equal to the first moment of area, times the elastic modulus, times the reference um, strain, plus the second moment of area, times the elastic modulus times kappa. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just find all these values and then it's as simple as just subbing them in. So, I'm going to be working for this um, example in the units of newtons and millimeters. Okay, so the area would be 200 by 100, so 100 by 200, which is 20,000 millimeters squared. The elastic modulus, um, it's not given, but I'm just going to say it's 200,000 MPa, which is in newtons and millimeters. It's in newtons per millimeter squared. Uh, the next thing we need to find is E0. Okay, so E0 is known as the reference strain. Now, the reference, what, why, the reason it's called the reference strain is because you, you look at your axes and you need to see the strain for your axes. So, because we're going to be doing everything in the x direction, you'll see why that's going to be apparent soon. But we're doing everything for x, we're going to see that our reference strain is minus 0 0.0001. Okay, that's where the x axis starts, and that's where the strain is. So you'll see in the later videos when we're going to be doing it for x dash, the reference strain is going to be the value, whatever value it is there, which we're going to have to find. But the reference, at, at the end of the day, all the reference strain is, it's the strain at the x axis for whichever, which, for